When you have to connect several components to build a studio, or just connect an iPod to an amplifier, you need to know how to identify cables. In this video, we're going to take you through four basic types of cable connections and what they are used for. Those types are TRS, TS, RCA, and XLR cables. Hopefully when this video is over, some of the wiring that goes on when you're plugging in guitars, mics, amplifiers, or even iPods will be a bit demystified. The first kind of cable we'll talk about is a tip ring sleeve or TRS cable. TRS cables usually come in two sizes, quarter inch and eighth inch. Quarter inch TRS cables are usually used to connect between speakers and amplifiers, the outputs of mixers to speakers, and are also used to connect pro audio headphones to devices such as audio interfaces. Eighth inch TRS cables are usually used to connect laptops, iPods, cell phones, and or portable DVD players to standard headphones or auxiliary inputs on small speakers. TRS cables have three conductors, or wires, housed inside the cabling. The first wire connects to the tip and carries the actual audio signal. The second wire, which connects to the ring, carries a second signal identical to the tip, yet opposite in polarity. And the third wire is a ground or shield wire that's usually wrapped around the signal wires and serves to block out any interference picked up while the signal is traveling down the cable to the receiver. Signal sent through a TRS cable can be stereo, with one channel in each signal wire, or mono. And when a TRS cable is sent a mono signal, the two signals are combined at the receiver in such a way that it gets rid of any interference that slipped past the shield wire. Cables that connect to receivers that have the ability to perform this interference blocking, or quote-unquote common mode rejection, as it's officially called, are said to carry balanced connections. These cables can sound much better than unbalanced connections, which we'll get into in a minute, and can be run for much longer distances. Furthermore, most signals passed through TRS cables are at what's called line level, meaning that no preamplification of the signal is necessary for it to be at a level usable by a mixer or other device. Similar to the TRS cable in appearance, but different in many regards, is the tip sleeve, or TS cable. It is usually found in quarter inch size and is often used to connect instruments such as a guitar, bass, or electric violin to some kind of amplifier. TS cables carry signals that are mostly not at line level, such as from an electric guitar. This means that these signals do have to be amplified or boosted before any further processing can be performed on them. This is why you can't just plug a guitar into a PA and have it produce sound. TS cables use three wires as well, yet only one of these wires, the one connected to the tip, is used to carry the signal. This means that TS cables can only be used for unbalanced connections. The second wire is connected to the sleeve and used to establish a common ground. The third shield wire, also attached to the sleeve, is used to block out interference, yet left disconnected at one end so that the interference doesn't transmit into the actual signal. Also, because there is only one signal wire, TS cables are only capable of transmitting mono audio. Another type of cable that carries unbalanced connections is the RCA cable. RCA cables are mostly found with 8th inch plugs and used in consumer audio applications. For example, you can probably find them behind your TV as the red and white cables connecting the audio from a DVD player, video game console, or some other auxiliary device to your TV or stereo. They have the same wiring as a TS cable, except instead of having a tip, the signal wire is connected to a pin. More often than not, the signals they carry are at a level used by most non-professional quote-unquote consumer audio gear. It is worth noting that TRS, TS, and RCA cables use male plugs at both sides, meaning that each side connects into a female port. Our fourth and final cable is an XLR cable. XLR cables carry balanced connections, but the signals passed through them are often not at line level. They're used in most cases to connect microphones to different devices such as mixers or preamps, but can also be used to connect to certain powered speakers. The XLR cable functions in the exact way a TRS cable does. It usually has three pins labeled 1, 2, and 3, which are most commonly used for ground, inverted signal, and signal, respectively. However, unlike the TRS cable, and the XLR cable has a male plug at one end and a female plug at the other end. Traditionally, the signal flows from the female end of the cable to the male end. Also, when connecting an XLR, or quarter-inch cable for that matter, you may come across what's known as a quote-unquote combo jack, which can accept either an XLR or a TRS input. 
We hope that this video has helped you make a bit more sense of all the connections happening between your audio devices.